farming some bitch here, getting ready for wheat harvest with the old 9670. So she's been stored in the corner of the heated slash air conditioned shop since last fall. We brought her in in December after Troy cleaned her up. So we were putting the tracks on last fall and two holes on this hub, unfortunately got stripped while we were putting the tracks on. That one, we were able to just re-tap and he's putting a new bolt in. This one, he had to drill out, tap it, and then he's putting a helicoil in it. So for those that don't know, a helicoil is basically, we'll get that focus, this here threads into the threads that he just put in with this tap. Then the new bolt is gonna screw onto the inside of this, and hopefully it's gonna grab the thread, the new, basically the new threads. There we get focused. So this kit came with five of them, so heck, we can screw up uh, four more holes, but we think this hole is going to be fine with just a little tapping. This one is going to have the new threads, and it's fun to run combines, but we spend a whole lot of time working on them. There's a storage container in here, so this tube behind the cutter bar and the bottom of the head, you store a spare cutter bar. So the spare cutter bar, the knives are like almost new. The other cutter bar, we had a rough fall between mud and stones. So it's not shot, but it's, it needs a little bit of work. So we're gonna pull the cutter bar out. Like there's a broken, there's a broken knife. They're getting dull, wheat cuts hard. So we're gonna throw a new cutter bar in, throw a few new guards on, and uh, we're gonna get this baby ready to go. And uh, a week from now, we'll put this thing in the, in the wheat for a day. Them knives and guards will be all nice and shiny, and we'll uh, hopefully get through wheat harvest and get through most of the soybean harvest with the same cutter bar. We'll probably end up putting all new knives on this bar. And uh, So if you know a good place to get knives other than John Deere or John Deere, let me know your thoughts on what kind of knives we should be running to do dual purpose wheat and soybeans. exciting to get started a little bit nerve-wracking but the combine seems to be working good our son Troy took our 9500 combine to help some friends about 12 miles away so we're uh, running a 9670 STS with a little 25 foot head on it we got her locked up in rigid mode the wheat's not the too special but we'll get into it it'll get a little better we've had a dry spell here so it's not as good as I was hoping but uh yeah, we're just getting the field opened up. We're spreading this field of straw, but we're gonna roll the rest of our straw. We got, got dairy farmers that wanna buy it. The price is pretty good and uh, we need the money. So <laughs> we'll sell it. So it's Sunday, the 17th of July. We haven't had a rain in about 32 days. Uh, sky's starting to get dark. They claim there's 100% chance of rain, but they've been saying that for three and a half weeks. So we're going to combine our last wheat. We got the old 9670 ready. Troy's going to pull the 9500 around. Got a couple empty trailers here. There's not very many acres in this field. Maybe 15 is all. So this wheat here was planted on the 14th of October. This was cover crop. We took the soybeans off. We come in, we planted two bushel an acre of... Uh, of just some select seed right out of the, the seed wagon. 
put it on it looked so good when we reported our crops in november we said maybe we'll keep this for wheat we put nitrogen on it back in march and uh it don't look too bad so when the price of wheat got good we decided to keep it so we're going to get this done it's our last piece we got all our custom work done the guys are going to be here to bail it hopefully in an hour and uh the black beans are struggling they've been in the ground four weeks today planning on father's day and uh they're just struggling boy we need a rain so uh Let's get the two combines rolling, make a quick video. We've got the triaxle and the quad axle there if we need to put a splash in it. The 9670 is ready to go. We've got a little crowd here at the shop. And uh, we got wheat in the bin, so if it don't all fit in the one truck, we'll just put the rest in that little dryer bin. And uh, yeah, let's make let's have some fun and feed the world, man. field of wheat for the season right here at our home farm right right next to the black beans that haven't had a rain we planted them four weeks ago today and they haven't had a rain over a tenth of an inch on them so this was cover crop wheat we left we thought we would just leave it and see if it was any good we uh, zone build into it for corn but man it come out pretty nice so troy's got the 9500 i got the 9670 and we're gonna get this ripped off. There's a pretty good chance of rain tonight, so we're uh, we're hoping and praying we get a good rainstorm. I think that's gonna be a little deer bed right there. Oh yeah, a little deer bed. So, yep, we're uh, we're having fun and glad we're almost done with wheat.
Well, that is a wrap on the last pass for Wheat Harvest 2022. We uh, had a pretty decent wheat crop. The wet weather hurt some of the wheat and the dry weather actually. The wet weather last fall hurt some. The dry weather this spring hurt our gravel ground. Overall, not bad. We started on a Thursday and today would be like day number 11. It's Sunday, so Troy helped me. He went and combined a bunch for some other neighbors and friends, and uh, I went and did a bunch of custom work plus our own. So glad to be done. Glad you watched the video. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, uh, send me send me a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, it's a great day to feed the world in every sense of the word. Hope you are too. Thank you.